friends, I'm Nicole, and I wanna share seven weird weight loss hacks that actually worked and helped me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. Number one. Nail polish. I told you these were weird. <laughs> Reason being, I struggled with weight and emotional eating most of my life. When I made the decision to lose weight, I knew that I needed to find an activity that I enjoyed that had nothing to do with food. Something that was fun, that would help take my mind off of the eating in between meals and help me kind of look forward to what I was doing so that I could stay on track. I loved giving myself manicures and pedicures, so I set myself up for success. I made like this cool kit. I got this like craft toolbox and I set it up with like all my manicure stuff so that it would be like a cool experience for me. And then I bought a whole bunch of nail polish in cool colors. That allows me like when I was struggling before and like I still have days where I struggle, it's normal. I can in between meals or when I'm struggling, go and paint my nails and distract myself from eating when it's not time to eat. Also, another thing that's really cool is when my nails are wet, I don't wanna eat anything because I'm gonna smudge my nails. So that's a really cool trick if you're just starting out and you're having a hard time not eating food. I often get asked that, like, I have a hard time in between meals. Will that really help me? Okay, I'm not sponsored, but I literally typed in on Amazon, craft toolbox, and this came up. And um, I think I paid like $30 Canadian for it. And I got this at Winners or HomeSense, one of those places. It was a step in the direction of self-care because what I was doing with food, with my emotional eating and stuff is I was numbing myself with food. So by painting my nails, it was my way, what I was capable of at the time to take care of myself. As I was trying to take care of myself by like, feeding myself properly, if that makes any sense. Number two, got fancy cups and mugs. I love fancy cups and mugs because they create this fun experience for me that makes me look forward to what I'm doing. At the beginning of my journey, I was drinking a lot of liquid calories. So I was drinking seven cans of regular Dr. Pepper a day and I wasn't ready to give that up, but I decided, okay, I'll switch to the diet version, so to like Dr. Pepper Zero, and I, I loved it, but I found that finding cool mugs to drink my pop in or my black coffee in when I was starting to not drink calories anymore, it made the experience more fun. And Kyle and I like make a date out of it because he's lost the same amount of weight as me. We make a date to go shopping to find the cups. And then in between meals, we're dieting right now because we're doing like a mini cut and I'm trying to get like lean for my 40th birthday in September. So in between meals, when I'm craving sweets or I'm hungry, putting a diet pop in a cool fancy cup not only does the carbonation help me fill my belly, but it feels like I'm just like, I don't know, at the beach sipping a drink, having a, a time of my life. Like, I don't know, it just creates this fun for me and I need to feel like I'm having fun to stick to what I'm doing. Number three, keep a picture of me when I was a little girl in areas where I go a lot. So this is one of the pictures that I keep around. This one I keep on my vanity where I do my makeup and I look obviously in the mirror to do my makeup every, pretty much every day. Why I do this is because when I, when I was struggling and on the days that I still struggle, I'm hard on myself. I put myself down uh, about food, about weight, about body, whatever. But if I look at this picture of me as a little girl, I don't wanna tell her the things that I'm telling adult Nicole. I'm not gonna put down a little girl. When I look at this cute little thing that was me when I was little, I don't wanna say mean things to her, but I do to adult Nicole. So it's easier for me to be gentler on her than on the adult sometimes. And also, if little Nicole wants a cookie or is craving something, I'm not gonna tell her it's bad. I'm not gonna try to make her feel guilty about wanting food that 
I labeled as bad before or like it's labeled bad in like the weight loss industry, I'm gonna tell her, you know what, Nicole, it's okay if you want a cookie, everything in moderation, balanced diet, and then enjoy your cookies. Give yourself what you're craving. I'm gonna take her by the hand and guide her through gently instead of adult Nicole, I can be a little harsh on. So that really helps me and that's why I really wanted to share that tip with you. And why I'm making this video is because I tried for years to lose weight, but I kept failing because I was making weight loss a punishment. Once I realized that I was doing that, um, I realized, let me create some hacks or find some hacks that I can do to make this whole journey enjoyable and fun. And I have a saying like, if you're not having fun, you're not getting it done because if you don't like what you're doing, you're not going to stick to it. And that's what happened to me when I was treating it like a punishment. I wasn't getting it done because it wasn't fun. I didn't look forward to it. Once I made it fun, I was able to be consistent and stick to it. And that's why I've been able to lose the weight and keep it off for as long as I have. Number four, cute plates. If you're an OG friend, you know that I'm all about cute. Why cute plates? One, because if I have a cute plate that I'm gonna eat my meals on, I am excited every day to get out the plate and put my food on it. I had a habit of skipping meals before because I thought that it would help me lose weight by saving calories, but all it did was make me so hungry by the end of the day, I'd end up overeating. If I have cute plates, I'm eating all my meals, I'm being consistent, I'm doing it regular because I wanna eat off this plate. This plate is slightly smaller than a normal dinner plate, which makes it amazing for portion control, which is how I lost my weight in the first place. Now I do, ca I count calories, but portion control is what helped me lose all the weight. And these are at Spirit Halloween this year, not sponsored. Yeah, exactly. Spirit Halloween, and we use like a coupon to save 20%. Slightly smaller. It creates a fun experience and it's really good with portion control and also because it is slightly smaller, it makes me feel like I'm getting an extra big amount of food, which anything to make me feel like I'm eating a lot really helps with the mental piece. I'm on a mini cut right now. Um, my birthday is in September, I'm turning 40 and I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life by then. I've lost 5.4 pounds so far. If you wanna know exactly how I get lean, you can buy my ebook, Leaner Not Meaner. The link is down below. You get my four week meal plan, my exact weight training and cardio plan and 24 recipes. It's amazing value. It's basically like spending a whole month with me. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have this huddle. HTLT subs. They just came out with some really cool stuff. They came out with the Collagen Plus and it's uh, collagen with 20 grams of protein per scoop. They have chocolate milkshake and homemade vanilla. Also, you guys always ask like, what do I put in my coffee? Well, they just came out with this G coffee creamer. It's mocha latte flavor. It's got three and a half grams of protein a scoop and new tropics, which help with like memory, focus and mental clarity. Code Nicole will save you 10% off this stuff. And the link is in the description. Number five. And we were taking collagen and protein separate. So to get it all in one is like amazing. Yes. Two in one, in one scoopy. Okay, number five. I put a bottle of water in the bathroom at night. Like I said, I was drinking only pop at the beginning. And I know I wanted to drink more water because water helps your body function better. If you get in the habit of drinking water and you drink it with meals, it helps you feel a bit more full um, faster. If you're not hydrated, your body can send you signals that you're hungry, but you're actually just needing more water. So to get in the habit, I would put one of these bottles of water in the bathroom at night and so would Kyle. So that when we woke up in the morning to wash our face, we seen the bottle of water and we drank it. And the goal was you drink it before you leave the bathroom and you know move on with your day. That way, at least you have one bottle of water in, set us up for success so that we would wanna keep drinking our water and getting all the water in that we had planned on for the day. And that really helped by seeing it in the morning going, oh yeah, you need to drink your water today. Number six, eat at the table with no distractions. My whole life, I ate standing up, I ate watching TV. Sometimes I'd be watching TV, standing up, reading a book, and 
well, I'm I'm old, obviously, like talking on the phone because like texting wasn't a thing then. But in 1920, <laughs> I would end up eating way more than I planned on because I wasn't paying attention to my food. So I'd be watching, you know, doing 30 things while eating, and I'd end up eating three or four plates of dinner and not even realizing. So when I sit down, when I eat now, I sit down at the table no distractions and I try to really make it a point to enjoy each bite of food and to really chew it. I also had a problem with rushing through so I would barely chew my food and what that does is it doesn't give your body a chance to figure out that it's eating and that it's getting full and your brain actually takes about 20 minutes to send the signal to your stomach that it's full and that it's eating. And that's why unconscious eating is not really the greatest if you have weight loss goals. Exactly. So really making it, that's why I like the cute plates and the cool cups, making it an experience and sitting down and enjoying your meal gives you a chance to figure out how much you actually want to eat instead of going unconscious and not realizing that you've eaten way more than you wanted to. And that really helps. Number seven, cute workout clothes. Um, you guys are probably gonna ask, I'm not sponsored, but this is from Gymshark. I got it on sale at the beginning of the summer, um, the, out, the whole outfit. The reason why cute workout clothes is because if I'm wearing workout clothes that I don't feel good in, like I don't like them or they don't fit right, all I'm gonna be focused on is my clothes, that I don't like them or that they don't fit right, and I'm not gonna to wanna to do a proper workout because I'll be so focused on, oh, they're baggy, they're falling down. Ooh, I don't like these. Oh, I feel uncomfortable. Are they see-through, are they what? And then there's no intensity. My whole workout, I gave focus to the clothes. Also, if they're cute, I wanna put those babies on and I wanna get out there and go, Hey, look at my cute workout clothes. Guys, I'm a workout girl. <laughs> and that gets, it sounds silly, but it gets me motivated. When I put on a cute workout outfit every morning and I go out and I do my cardio, which is just a walk outside, I'm so proud to wear those clothes and let everybody see, oh yeah, you're walking in your cute clothes, buddy. You know, it's, it motivates me. And so that's why these hacks, because yes, they're weird, but they worked for me. They made an experience for me. And we don't sell fear on this channel. Wait, we, we don't make weight loss a punishment here because that didn't work for us. We want you, we're hoping when you come to our channel that you learn or get inspired that you can make your journey enjoyable and fun and look forward to it every day. And that you can find things that work for you that you wanna jump out of bed every morning and actually do and do for a long time so that you can get the results that you're looking for. So the friends, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thumbs it up if you like it and watch this vid and this vid because we have a ton of sustainable fun weight loss tips for real friends losing weight in the real world that wanna just love their food, not make stuff a punishment, just love life, love everything they're doing, drink, drink out of their cute cups, eat off their cute plates, and do their nails and just be fun all day and just love life and love it. That's what we do here. Thanks for watching. Uh, Sass and I really appreciate your love and support. Peace, cuties. I will catch you in the next vid. I'm out. See ya. See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.